I wasn't hopeful of being roused out of my lockdown slump by anything on the telly uh, recently, but I have to tell you, I am so incredibly impressed by a brand new series on SBS. It's funny, it's smart, it's warm, and it involves um, a band of jewel thieves. You know, that's all you really need to know. It's called The Unusual Suspects. It's got an incredible cast and our next two guests, Miranda Otto and Peter O'Brien, are the jewels in the crown. Good afternoon. (laughs) Good afternoon, Mrs. Jewels in the necklace, maybe. Yes, yeah, jewels in the necklace. That's fair enough to say, yeah. yeah. Look, I have to say right from the top, this is like nothing I feel like I've seen on Australian television before. And I read an article, I think Carl Quinn had written it, saying it takes a little while to get into, and that's my usual MO. It takes me a while to warm up, and I'm like, "Mm." this took me no time. I loved it from the first moment. To the both of you, Miranda, first, when when this came across your desk, Um, as, you know, a script. What did you make of it? Well, I mean, it came to me during lockdown here in Sydney. We'd come back from the States and we were locked down here in our house, bunkering down, and this script came. And I wasn't even thinking about, you know, when I came back to Australia about work or any of that. It was all about escaping the virus. Then this script came and it was just felt so fresh and bold and irreverent and fun and hopeful that it was like I was in like right from the start. I just thought this is great. I really want to be a part of this. It just it totally hooked me in. And Peter, your character, you know, what a what a great character to sink your teeth into. Yeah, look, it, it certainly is. It was a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun to work with Miranda as well. It was great. And I mean, and, and it sort of came at about, the, the, the job came at a separate time for me because, you know, Miranda, I just remember Miranda saying, you know, I've just got this, this great, this job that's coming up. You know, I've been offered it. And she said, you know, how fantastic it was. And um, and then I, I literally got a phone call saying, and I said, oh, it's the same job. And then I found out what, what I was playing. And um it's, look, it's always fun to play someone who is, you know, sort of literally the cat amongst the pigeons, and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and it's and it's great when you're working with somebody who you know really well, you know, like Miranda. You two know and, each other. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah he's all right. He's you know, they, he's got a good reputation. When was the last time you worked together? He's kind of cute. Don't tell him I said that. I could feel energy on the screen. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, it was great. No, it was. It's so much fun. Look, it, you know, it obviously is. Um, it is so much fun to work together. I'm trying to think. When was the last thing that we did together outside of that, Miranda? Was it the Lindy Chamberlain? I think it might have story? been the Lindy Chamberlain piece yeah. where, where you were cross-examining me. <laughs> yeah, I had to I had to lock her up in that one. <laughs> I'd love to be in your household when you're running lines. Maybe not for this particular uh, one in some of the scenes. Uh, look, I guess we should give a bit of a insight into what this is about, but you don't want to give too much away either. Yeah, it's sort of a whodunit, really. I mean, a, a $16 million necklace is, you know, stolen in this brazen heist from a children's birthday party in the eastern suburbs in Sydney. And then it's all about a hunt to try to find out, you know, how this happened and who's responsible. And because it's the eastern suburbs of Sydney, everybody's hiding something. So everybody becomes a suspect. Yeah, it's a really strong female cast, culturally diverse women. It's just great. It's great to see something like this made now. It's, and this is Miranda's quote. She'll say, this is right on the money now. It's right in the zeitgeist. Without question, the cast um, and what the cast is able to explore through culture and power and yeah. the secret lives of women almost as well and how yeah. they yeah. interplay is quite I love incredible. The way she wrote that. She wrote it because there is the sort of backbone of the idea of a, a, a high school you know, drama, and then we've also uh, got all the, the comedy in it. And, and then there's this amazing cultural story going on in there, yeah. and you, you get to really open a door onto a community that a lot of people don't know a lot about. And a yeah. fantastic performance by Ina Dumlau, um, who is just spectacular. She's, she's a Filipino yeah. actress, so she came over for this filming. Yeah, she actually lives in America. She lives in Los Angeles, but she's from the Philippines. And, yeah, she was just terrific, really terrific. All the women are. But, you know, I worked a lot 
with Ina and, you know, she she is such a smart cookie and just so emotionally involved in what she's doing and, yeah, she's just terrific to work with. Yeah, she's great. You know, I, I, I remember the first scene I had to do with her where I was sort of being... My um, my artist character, you know, um, who was just returned, and and I I just felt it, it was confronting to sort of work because she was so great, so focused, and I thought I, I just felt intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Have I done my work? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, I know. Not, not, that, not that she's an intimidating character. I was intimidated in the scene. I was going, wow, she's just so on the money here. This is really scary for me. <laughs> um, you're not the only lovers on the set either. Uh, Michelle Vergara no. Moore and her partner are Toby, also, yeah. yes, part of this um, ensemble. Yeah, they, they, I love their relationship on screen. They, they are such a great couple. There were some fantastic portraits that they'd had done for the house, which were hysterical. <laughs> These yeah. really funny yeah. portraits in character around the house. <laughs> is it weird? I mean, I know you're professionals, you're actors. This is almost a ridiculous question, but when you play relationships that are so close to your own but so far removed, is it? what does it do? Does it have any impact on your daily lives? I would say mm. that realistically, like, this relationship is – is not like ours, but that's kind of funner to play. If we were playing something that was much closer to who we are, then I think that would be more kind of confusing. I remember acting with my dad in something once and he was written in a quote going, I think we were acting, I don't really know what we were doing. (laughs) (laughs) Working through family (laughs) stuff. (laughs) It was was a little closer to our own story, but what's been fun with Pete and I when we work together, it's, you know, it's been characters that were very different to us. So, you know, a great sense of play when we're doing things and, you know, we work on stuff at home too. I run ideas by Pete and work out stunts together and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that, that's one of the benefits of it, you know, because you're able to approach each other and talk with a shorthand about getting to the immediate issues in a scene, um, which is fantastic. But, but you know, with the characters that we play and the things that each our respective characters have done to each other over the years, uh, we don't take it personally. Because <laughs> you <Yeah>. don't, <laughs> we don't bring that home. When art turns uh, becomes the business of the home, oh my goodness! Yeah. I I yeah. hear you. Um, <laughs> it is such a wonderful show. It's four parts, isn't it? Yes, yes, four parts. So if people are into binging, they can watch the whole thing. You are speaking to the a whole state that is ready for a binge, my friend. And uh, we've done Mayor of East Town. We're ready for this. You know what? We're so ready for this. I cannot tell you, Victoria, yeah. how ready you are for this because this is the antidote. I was a hard rock to move and you moved me. So um, oh, there can be no better credit than that. Congratulations, you two. Lovely to talk to you both in the basement of your house and the dog didn't make any noise. No, no. Oh, good, good, well, well, good dog, well done. Yeah, good ziggy. <laughs> Miranda Otto and Peter O'Brien, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Thank you.